Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Let's Restore the Portuguese Empire uh, campaign here in Victoria 2 with HBM. So uh, the campaign is basically over at this point, there's only four years left, we have done what we came to do. Can just, oh man, look at that, look at that, Portuguese Brazil. Portuguese Brazil is the best Brazil. Such a thing of pure beauty. Oh yes. Anyways, uh, even if our original goal has been completed, uh, there's still some time left and we are going to be using that time primarily to invade Spain. Because, I mean, that sounds like a reasonable and natural thing for the Portuguese people to be doing, right? Invading Spain? Conquering Galicia? I should have googled more about Galicia in between episodes so that I'm, I don't accidentally say something about the <laughs> <laughs> the Galician language slash dialect that I shouldn't be saying. But regardless, that will have to be for some other time. I mean, this might be the uh, last episode of the game. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I mean, you guys will know because it should say... It should say whether or not it's the final episode in the title of the episode, so... You probably do know whether or not it's the last, but I don't, so... I'm just going to have to play the game as if I don't know, because I don't know. So, we will have to wait and see. Are we funding the troops? Yes. Are we funding the navy? No. So let's give it a little bit of time before we do that. Uh, get some of that morale for the navy. Uh, you know, obviously the navy is not the most important thing in the invasion force, but I think it can be nice to surround them and uh, beat them up a bit. I also think maybe we want might want to try and do this war on our own without getting anyone else involved. Ah, the British wouldn't even. They don't even want to join. So I guess we don't need, we don't really have a choice on that, do we? So yeah, we're just gonna have to swoop in and do this on our own. But uh, I think we can do that just fine. Galicia, that is the state. There's no other state called Galicia randomly. No, it does not seem to be the case. So then, then we can know for sure that this is what we want. Acquire Galicia from Spain. Uh, we're not gonna call anyone immediately in. But I will go ahead and do a bunch of separate call to war thingies. I'll do that off screen, of course. Alright, uh, so we got our transport navy here. That will not actually matter in this war. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get rush some troops up here. And. Eh, do we want to mobilize for this? I think I'll wait a bit and see what the Spanish do. Whether or not they will... Oh, fuck. Did you attack me here or did... Oh, you attacked me, you moron. I didn't get the digging bonus, though. I guess my movements prevented me from getting that. But he should be able to... Or he should be pretty... He should get pretty wrecked here. He has how much tech? Yeah, 24. We have six more techs than him. So... He should not be doing too well here. Although, I mean... Actually, the battle is... Yeah, okay. Well, I think we will mobilize then. Yeah, he mobilized. So we'll mobilize too. Who knows, maybe we'll even have to send or get some uh, reinforcements in or something. It'll be interesting to see. It's kind of good timing though for the invasion. I mean, the uh, the crisis just began and this means I don't have to get involved, which is nice. Alright, so now the the stuff seem, seems to be going more in our favor and ah. Well, so much for my front line. It has already collapsed. Well, that sucks. Um. Well, let's try and restore as much of it as we can. So he's going to go to Beja now. Well, uh, that's fine. Low. Let's get these guys up here. And split that army like that. Ireland, sure. Send some troops down here, boy. Let's go. Or not. Well, I guess that's not happening then. Oh yeah, we actually do need to reinforce this army. So let's go do that. Get some of those troops in here, yeah. Now we're getting attacked here. Oh, fucking hell, the Spanish really did bring the fucking troops this time around, man. I'm always getting a bit spooked here. But I am still pretty confident that we're going to win this. Let's see, which one is a... Yeah, phenomenalism. That gives us some experience. Which I guess won't help us too much in this war in particular, but you know. It's it's there. It's a it's more of a why not thing. Oh, and yeah, this this was a mistake. Run away. 
All right, looks like we pushed the Spanish out of our lands for the most part. So let's quickly reestablish a front line kind of thingy. And now this army is okay. That's annoying. Well, you go there. That's not going. Yeah, no, that is indeed going to scare him off. Well, I guess half of this army can go here. Or um, <laughs> for a second there, I thought I got a message, but it was just my podcast app updating. I am so lonely. Right, we lost that, but it didn't hurt our war score too much. I mean, would you just give up at this point? Because, I mean, you are basically not winning this. But no, he, he wants to keep going, so we'll, we'll respect his... Fuck's sake, phone. I know, podcast, I get it. Man. I really am quite hyped for the next version of the... Um, of the fuck. Well, not the fuck, but the... Uh, Imperium Universalis mod. Because I've been, I found me myself a uh, a neat little podcast about Greek history. So now I'm really feeling inspired to uh, to play some Greek history. I guess. <laughs> Look at these battles. Look at the dying spirit of the Spanish people. Hey, we got tanks. Well, that took long enough. So Kodo, yeah. Don't you get access by default? Also, can I command your troops? I think I can actually. Because you're a puppet, right? Where did his army go, by the way? Maybe he did... No, he doesn't have an army. Well, never mind then. Oh, why did you ask for access then, you moron? Well, let's take control over... Um, Arabia's units. Because why not? Muhammad al-Najdi here. Going to... Um, not go anywhere, because we can't go anywhere. Well, never mind then. I guess we're not doing anything. With that. Maybe I should give the troops back into the control of the... Hey, Portuguese civil code. Actually, I don't want to do that. Because I want to piss off my people a bit so that I can maybe get some more reforms. Because we're still a fucking Portuguese... Or we're still a fascist dictatorship. Despite me... Um, despite me getting uh, a bunch of reforms. We have based on population. We have voting. I mean, what's the fucking problem? They really sh I, uh, I could have sworn there was an event that gave us um, that gave us the ability to become a democracy again. Maybe it's not for fascist dictatorship or something. Maybe it's only for oh hello. Oh, we're getting attacked all over the place. Uh yeah, that's a problem. Jesus Christ, these guys have a lot of troops. Yeah, I might actually have to send some uh, reinforcements in here. This is starting to spook me a bit. Well, I guess we'll focus on the Brazilians. They'll have to try and help our cause. So get up there. Get up there now. And let's send our navy down. Never mind, we just won the war. Well, okay. <laughs> That's good though, because these battles... Well, actually no, we definitely would have won those. So never mind then. Acquire Galicia. And there it is. The Greater Portuguese Empire have been has been established. Yes. Pretty neat. Hey, states. I like states. Let's make that a state. How much does it cost? 833, we can afford that. Fuck yeah, how close are we to some of these other ones? Um, yeah, that one we just got, so we don't need to do any more focus there. This one is bugged, so we're never getting that for some reason. So let's stop focusing there. And these ones are still being worked on, but I, I, I feel reasonably confident that we'll get them. Yeah, look at that efficiency. Hey, look at our African holdings. So nice. This has a suspiciously high uh, admin efficiency. Does that mean we can turn it into a... Oh, yes. We can probably turn that into a state. North Somaliland. A glorious state of the Portuguese Empire. That is how it is. Are we working on this one? Yeah, not being very successful, though. <laughs> like, at all. Although... Is the game being a meme again? It's that one, it's that one, that one. I mean, okay, so on this screen it says 0 0.80, but I guess it's another Swaziland situation where it says we have a lot of uh, bureaucrats, but we don't actually have a lot of bureaucrats. A lot of my colonial holdings seem to be a bit bugged in this playthrough. I don't know why. African mines and farm, yeah, 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 we'll have to do that again. Although now we can't have industry here, so let's get some industry in Tanzania, or Tang, Tan, Tanganyika. 
Is that a German name or did they take that from the locals? The Germans, that is. I don't know. Let's get a. Um, I don't know. It's Creative Dye Works. Yep. That's the one. Portuguese. Oh, yeah. I sort of accidentally got the technology for this one, didn't I? But I. Hmm. See, El Salvador gets to have a thaw, but I don't. Unfair. It's the only thing I can call that, because it is. It is unfair. Especially, oh, look at that, this province is now almost a majority Portuguese province. Well, I mean, it is. But it's not an absolute majority. But it's stuck as a protectorate for some dumb reason. So... Well, at least it'll look cool on the map mode. Same goes for this stupid province. I mean, it's stuck at 10% or 0 0.10. But, um... It's one of the provinces that actually has a Portuguese majority, so... I guess I'll never entirely understand what on earth is going on in this game. Oh, is this province being a meme again? Or as well, should I say? Because it totally says right now that it has over 1% bureaucrats. I thought only people of your accepted pops could become bureaucrats anyways. I don't understand, because presumably what's happening here is that non-Portuguese people are becoming bureaucrats. Russia, ah, so the Soviet Union broke down. Well, that's whatever. The dictatorship of Russia. Hey, that sounds familiar. <laughs> Anyways, fuck you, Italy. And ooh, look at the Russians. They have colonized a lot of shit. Maybe I should do a Soviet Union campaign at some point. I mean, I have tried to do that before, actually, but I fucked it up. So, so it never, it never ended up. It never ended up on YouTube. Also, yeah, we need to demobilize before we get that event. Yeah, rest in peace, Soviet Union campaign. Rest in peace. It's probably going to be revived at some point, but... <laughs> I mean, it's quite a lot of years now since my failed Japan campaign. Uh, well, it's quite a lot of time since I fa fucked up my Japan campaign. Yeah, it's basically years at this point. I mean, I, I tried to play Japan back when Pop the Man Mon was a thing. And I fucked it up. And, um... Yeah. That campaign either never ended up anywhere. So, yeah. It's fun. I mean, I guess we'll do that, but... Get some guards. And... Fuck ton of tanks. Some infantry. And some tanks. Maybe a bit less infantry and, like, some planes or something. There we are. Hey, more forms! Maybe free press will do the trick? Political parties. The government actively prevents other parties from pol Okay. Well, is that the problem? Do we need to reform that? Let's try it. Maybe that gives us a thaw. But, I mean, I wouldn't rely on it or gamble my money on it. Huh, can I even... Okay, we cannot reduce the taxes on the rich, but that's fine. Still have not seen any comments in the comment section that argues for not taxing the rich to space, so... I will continue doing just that. Yeah, guess we can try Zambia. Yeah, I know. This, I mean, this is really not the most efficient way to use my national focuses. Uh, I mean, obviously the most efficient one is to use it on... Um, on industry and shit like that, but I just... I like the idea of getting states. It's fun. It is good fun. Hey, there it is! The Portuguese Thaw! The dictatorship is not what it used to increase. Pluralism combined with extended political reforms have led to the dictatorship more and more taking on uh, the trappings of a democracy. While this doesn't necessarily mean that the party has given up on... given up its reign on power, it does mean that the opposition now has some chance of making its voice heard. Liberty! Shit, by the way, I need to upgrade all my factories before <laughs> before I click the button. And there we are, factories have been built. I mean, there's not like there are any more railroads to build, and so we can do it. The Portuguese saw Liberty! Hold election. There we are, we got the modern day, yes, the modern day uh, Portuguese flag. And we are now a free republic with liberty for all. Totalitarianism will be removed from Portugal. That's right. Freedom. Freedom to the people. 
Glory to the youth. Oh man. Glory, freedom. What else is there? What is there not to like? Fuck, do we even sign the Geneva Convention? I think we might even do that, just for the lulz, because I never signed the Geneva Convention. So sh fuck it, let's sign the Geneva Convention. There it is. Geneva Convention is signed. Ooh, Banking Act. Ooh, poor savings, yes. I want that. Can I get that? What did I need? Modern Central Bank System. Well, let's do that instead then. Are we far away from it? No, not at all. So let's get that, get some bank, get some poor savings. Oh man, look at this. Look at this glorious republic we have here. Yay, no, not even the Brazilians are move, having a movement to rebel or whatever. Uh, fascist, oh, are you doing this again? Like, you guys lose power. I mean, you're technically even still in power. And you're just immediately going to meme about but sure, we get some neat bonuses by having that, so... Oh, hello, money! Oh, Jesus, okay, well, now we... Okay, we still can't... ditch the taxes on the rich, but... Full citizenship! Yes, we will go against everything I have generally done when I play Victoria 2. We will grant all the glories to our people. We'll be the most free, the most multicultural, the most multi-continental nation that ever lived. Got one percent bureaucrats here, but yeah, actually we have one percent. So come on, game, let's let's go. State. What? Oh, this place is also struggling from that bug. It seems. Is that what? <laughs> is that the thing that's preventing us though? Maybe the problem is that yeah, I know for a fact we got this. We got this place from an event. So maybe that's what's bugging it out. And I don't remember getting this place from an event, so I don't know what's the problem down here. But no, seriously, we have 1%, so let's go. Let's make this a state. What are you waiting for, game? We're running out of game, so... Incorporating as a state would cost... Oh, there we are! <gasps> we don't have enough power?! Really?! That fucking sucks. Well, I guess we're spamming boats. Can't build dreadnoughts?! Oh, well, battleships then. All of them. All the battleships. Are these getting... Okay, so we are currently working on doing some upgrades. But I have been a bit lazy. I will admit that. Quite a lot more lazy than I should have. So we need to spam more of these things. What the fuck? Are these even... Nah, they're not going to be done by the end of the game. No! They're not going to be done! Ah! So we actually got enough stupid people. So we're unable to do it because we don't have enough fucking points. How sucky is that? Quite sucky. Quite sucky indeed. Let's go back uh, to working on Somaliland though. Just in case. Daomei. Yes, we will ally with our African brothers. I mean, presumably a majority of our nations is actually African, so... Calling them African brothers wouldn't necessarily be wrong. Yeah, and Brazilians... <laughs> yeah, the mystery alone probably outnumber... Okay, I guess they don't now outnumber all the people of European descent, but still, there's quite a lot of them. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see who gets the election. You might have to... Um... Ah, the liberals. Well, that sort of sucks. I mean... Actually, no, that, that's awesome, because now we can, yes, state. Okay, go liberals, I guess, even if it was not at all they who did anything. Oh, fuck, we can't overtax the rich now? See, that is the problem with liberalism, isn't it? It's supposed to be all about freedom, but it forces you to be kind against the rich. Like, I don't get that. So, are we now for, yeah, now we have laissez fair. Well, the economy seems to do... I mean, it's not doing great, but it's doing okay. Maybe we should actually encourage now some... <laughs> some actual... What do you call it? Uh, uh, capitalists, because I've very much not been giving shit about capitalists in this playthrough. I mean, why would I? Let's finally get that... Um, oh yes, there are more things to do. So let's get the Portuguese Civil Code. 
1867 or 1933, you know, you make your own decision, <laughs> the, first, the first Portuguese civil code was enacted. Professor uh, Sabera, influenced by the Code Napoleon, wrote the whole code alone. Other codifications were also studied and taken into consideration, especially the Algemeins Land Landrecht of Prussia and the ABGB of Austria and the Sardinian Civil Code. But he was able to create a very particular style. The systematization is different from the French Code. The Portuguese Civil Code was unique for European Civil Codes in its characterization of laws in terms of the person and property. It was divided into four sections, the person, the acquisition of goods, goods and the defense of those goods, and or rights, or just or rights. Kind of mucked that up a bit, but that's okay. Let's get some African mines, let's get the Banking Act. What a lovely little nation our Portugal is turning into. Social responsibility, of course. Ah, my liquor distillery just closed down. And we have unemployment. Uh, not, a, not a lot though, so I guess... Although it is a bit of a shame that the new state we got is now not going to... Is now not going to have any industry in it. Quite a shame. Ah yeah! A new state! Rift Valley is now a state of the Portuguese Republic. There it is. Once again, though, we don't actually get to have any industry here because the game is a bit of a meme, but what are you going to do? We're currently working on that, so now the state map mode looks like this. I mean, technically this is the civilization map mode, but it works well enough to see what are states and what are not. Uh, nah, there's no way this is going to be a state. I mean, if we select any of these places, they, they have to be pretty close on their own. Because it's not like we have a lot of, a lot of time left now to statify any of these areas. Yeah, I don't think Ethiopia or Egypt are going to be statified. I really doubt that. Uh, nah, none of these really look too likely to become states. So maybe we can try and zone vote fraud or something? Or not? Wait, is that place also a protectorate? Yeah, I don't really understand this place, why it's so weird. Uh, whatever. I guess we can go back to working on Portuguese Transvaal. I mean, these this place literally has no excuse for not being a state. I mean, it's really far away though, so maybe we shouldn't even waste our time on it. Maybe we shouldn't. But, I mean, yeah, no, let's not do that. That's stupid. Let's do something else stupid. I don't know. I guess we can just go back to workers or something. Yeah. There are too a lot of in no. There's not. Uh, it seems like the last life here economy is doing fine. Are we getting any? Um, no, nope, no investment or anything. So, I guess that's not happening. Krakow. Uh, no. Are you even alive? Why is Krakow alive? Have they been alive for a while? Maybe they have, and I just didn't pay attention. It wouldn't be the first time I didn't pay attention because it's sort of my thing, you know, not paying attention. Anyways, let us, I don't know, I don't know, I'll, I'll come up with something, I guess. Ooh, Sokoto Revolution. The revolutionaries in Sokoto have kicked our representatives, have kicked our, rep kicked out, maybe? Kicked out our representatives of their capital and expelled our diplomats, ending all our influence in them. Advisors in our government say that this revolution has become too bothersome to deal with and that we should intervene immediately to remove these barbarians from power, of course. We must install democracy in Sokoto. Or just annex them again and then re-release them and lose infamy. But it's late in the game and we're not going to do it anymore, so... I guess we'll actually try the install democratic puppet Casabelli, because I don't think I've ever seen that before. Do you have an army? No, you don't have an army, so... This will be easy enough, unless someone has feared you. No? Very well then. Not only are we becoming a democracy ourselves, we are forcing the rest of the world to become democracies as well. That is the way of Portugal. Kind of reminds you of someone else, but let's not talk about that. 
Ah, look at that. They're even trying to rise, raise up some troops. Bit late for that, mate. But, well, whatever. What are you gonna do? And there it is. Install a puppet, puppet democratic government. And there you are. Their flag changed. They're now a nice little Sokoto puppet. A republic. They're still uncivilized, though. I mean, I, you would have thought that we could have helped with that, you know? I mean, we quote-unquote civilized Uganda. I mean, there wasn't even any states here at the beginning of the game. Not saying that there weren't any states here historically. I do not know enough about Ugandan history to tell that, but... Still, I find it weird that these puppets you release are... are always uncivilized, even if it does give you the possibility of doing some nice exploits. I haven't tested that, though. I mean, I guess we could test it right now, but I don't feel like it. So I'm not going to. Ugh, some tech that doesn't take too long so that we can get it before the game ends. So I guess we can get some naval tech or something, I don't know. Why not? Ooh, states for days! Zambezia is now a state. So that's very nice. Still can't build any industry in it, but that's fine. Uh, Tete? Ah ha! Tete! I knew it! Fucking hell! I took so long! This state has been po super Portuguese forever, and it finally, finally became a state. So there we are. Now, yeah, look at that. The majority of Mozambique is now a state. We only need uh, this place, but it's never going to be a state, sadly, because no Portuguese people wanted to move here. So... That sucks, but to be fair, this started out as a different... Well, it was not under Portugal in the beginning, so... I guess that's part of the reason why that never became a state, but nonetheless, I'm, I am I feel like I can't complain too much about this state, or the <laughs> the state of the state, <laughs> but <laughs> seriously, um, I don't think I've ever gotten this many states in Africa before in Victoria too, and I'm doing it as fucking Portugal as well. I mean, Portugal does not have the biggest population, and that's the main way to get emigration that I've found anyways. You know, France has a decent ability to statify lands. Obviously the AI, I assume anyways, is not exactly very good at encouraging bureaucrats, so they do not really know how to do that. I mean, they don't really know how to effectively get states, but I mean, still. I mean, all of South, well, South Africa is an independent nation, so it's kind of obvious, I guess, that this place is a, is all state, but still. The British have made uh, Bechuana land into a state. Pretty darn British one as well. But I uh, will look more into those kinds of details in the next episode, because this is not going to be the last episode, and the Soviet Union is back again. Well, that's fine, I guess. Now we have fascists rising up, so who knows, maybe they'll keep flipping. Core integration, really? Huh. I mean, it is a majority Russian province, so I guess that's not too unreasonable. Regardless, in the next episode, uh, we'll just let the game run to the last playable date, and then we will go ahead and uh, look throughout the world and see what's been going on and how the map modes look and all of that stuff that long-time viewers of my channel will recognize. So yeah, still pretty darn pleased though that we were indeed able to become a republic by the end of the game. I mean, we're not overly democratic, uh, only... Yeah, only the middle and upper classes are allowed to vote, and uh, the upper classes uh, have a, you know, their vote counts for more. But yeah, well, okay, so the voters' ideolo ideologies is... Uh, a decent bit more liberal than the lower classes is, but yeah, it's it's understandable that the lower classes would be more socialist, but still, it's a pretty... Well, I don't know. I, I mean, I would love to get more reforms here, but once again, the upper house just doesn't... doesn't care to give me what I desire. Yeah, the fascists, now that they're no longer in power, are not interested in uh, giving me reforms anymore. And for some ungodly reason, the socialists are not either. Like that, I will never understand. Why wouldn't the socialists want uh, political reform? Like, I get why the communists wouldn't want it, but why the hell would the socialists not want it? I mean, I guess the uh, Spanish liberation movement. Well, we've got to suppress that before that goes anywhere. I mean, I guess maybe the, uh, the reason is that... 
maybe they still think a uh, socialist dictatorship will work. Actually, no, they have no excuse. I mean, the Soviet... I was about to say, well, because the Soviet Union does not exist in this timeline. But it really does, so... It should be pretty fucking obvious to everyone how bad of an idea socialist dictatorships are. But, uh... Eh. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll think more about that in the next episode. So, yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.